Lifeline for Help. Mental health officials in Philadelphia say that the city's suicide crisis hotline is helping hundreds of people a day. And now they're planning on expanding the call centers. At the same time, an area swim club is raising awareness about mental health in their own way. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Howard Monroe explains. Ethan was a great guy. Ethan was the best. Friends and co-workers are remembering Ethan Byrne. Ethan died by suicide in October of 2020. And now his former co-workers at the Springfield Swim Club in Delaware County are organizing a swim meet in his honor. He always had this like, this way about him when you talked to him, like your day was always better. I know it's something super cliche to say, but uh, coming into work, you obviously, you know, oh, I have to go to work. You know, if Ethan was here, your day would be so much better. Ben Kutzefaris swam with Ethan since they were kids, and they both worked as lifeguards at the swim club. The meet, named 25s to Save Lives, will be held Sunday morning. It's benefiting the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and also the Springfield Fire Department. That's where Ethan served as a volunteer firefighter. This meet's built for, for everyone to be able to, to swim, donate, have a good time, and, you know, kind of just live in Ethan's memory. And as they get ready to honor Ethan, there are new numbers out on just how many people have called the new crisis hotline in the last year. Our goal is to always work toward addressing trauma, achieving equity, and engaging community. On Friday, Philadelphia marked one year since launching its 988 crisis hotline. Since last July, data shows 5 million people across the country have either called or texted seeking help. In Philadelphia, officials say call centers are receiving 200 calls or texts a day. Throughout the next year, they're expanding the service, adding another call center. So here we are, supporting Philadelphians in their time of need through individual, family, community connections, and we continue our behavioral health crisis transformation. Ben says there's no way to know whether 988 could have saved Ethan, but he's glad it's an option for others. I'm hoping that resource is able to help everyone else, and people who were in this position at one point are able to, you know, maybe have an extra chance. Their hope is the swim meet can raise $2,000 for suicide prevention. Howard Monroe, CBS News, Philadelphia. Howard, thank you.